Two White House officials, according to New York Times reporting, provided uh, Representative Nunes uh, with the information that he spoke about last week. And according to the Times, um, the senior director for intelligence on the NSC, who was hired by Michael Flynn, started going through these documents after the president's tweet, with the wiretapping tweet. So I'm wondering if the White House thinks it's appropriate for national security officials to be conducting what's basically a political task, which is trying to find information that then validates something the president said. Yeah. So I've read the report, uh, and respectfully, I think your question assumes that the reporting is correct. It does. Uh, and, and so I'm, I would just suggest to you that the letter that was submitted earlier to the ranking, the, me the chairman and the ranking members of the two committees, two intelligence committees on the Hill, the reason that, uh, that the White House has asked them to come up is to view that information. And again, uh, I, I don't want to get in front of that. As I've said before, I don't, I, I, we are not as obsessed with the process as much as the substance. And I think that our goal is to, uh, to make sure that the ranking members of both committees, as well as the chairman, see the information, um, that um, the materials that, that are important to this, and then worry about the, 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 the outcome at the end of this. Major. I want to read to you something you said here at the podium on March 23rd when you were originally asked if the White House might have had any role in providing information to Chairman Nunes. You first said it didn't make any sense to you, and you went on to say, and I'm quoting you here, I don't know why he, Chairman Nunes, would brief the Speaker and then come down here to brief us on something that we would have briefed him on. It doesn't seem to make a ton of sense. So I'm not aware of it, but it doesn't really pass the smell test. There's now reporting, which I can't tell if you're disputing or not, that identifies two people within this White House as the sources of this information. So I'm just trying to put these things together. Right. And Where you said that doesn't pass the smell test on March 23rd. Now there's reporting well, that I, I think it is within the White House that they were the sources of this. I'm just trying to put those two things together. Right. So number one, the first quote that you're reading, if you actually go back, I was responding to, I, I was very clear that I said, based on what Chairman Nunez has said, I believe okay. the following doesn't make sense. Something that. So the, I'm guessing well, that you've learned something new since then. So please tell us what right. you learned. Right, and again, learned. no, no, because again, Major, I, I've commented on this both yesterday and today, that your obsession with who talked to whom and when is not the answer here. It should be the substance. In the same way that when you guys print a story with 18 anonymous sources, your obsession is the substance. It seems now that you continue to, to look at it from a backwards prism, which is, you know, what happened, who drove in what gate, who did they meet with, what were they wearing that day, as opposed to what's the underlying substance of this? Did something happen in the 2016 election? Was leak, did leaks occur? We are not going to engage actively in that kind of leaking that has been a problem. In fact, if you look at uh, the, the Obama's Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense that is out there, Evelyn Farkas, she made it clear uh, that it was their goal to spread this information around, that they went around and did this, and she said, quote, uh, that's why there's so many leaks. They have admitted on the record that this was their goal, to leak stuff to, and they literally, she said, on the record, Trump's team. There are serious questions out there about what happened and why and who did it. And I think that's really where our focus is in making sure that that information gets out. But can't the process, from your vantage point, validate the importance of the substance? Well, I think there's a review that we've asked for and probably for you told us that you're willing to look into and ask and questions about the process and provide us answers. And, and no, all no, 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 no. I, I don't, don't, please don't put words in my mouth. I never said I would provide you answers. I said we would look into it. Our, the responsible thing for us to do is to provide the individuals and the committees who are doing the review the materials that they're looking for, or some of them. We don't know how many, what they're exactly looking for, what they've seen, and what they haven't. Our goal is to be as forthright as possible. They asked the intelligence or the, the intelligence communities and others in a March letter for information. We have decide, We have are willing to provide them uh, with the information that we have, uh, the materials that we have come across. And I think that is an important step. Again, it is not our obligation is to make sure that a review is done, both in the House and the Senate, as we asked for a few weeks ago, not to make sure that we illegally leak out information to you. And when you say we have information, are you disputing the reports in the New York Times? I'm not commenting on the reports, Major. I just I, I just got asked the same well, question. You're saying we, so I'm just no, trying no, to no. find out their I, names. I'm saying no. We, the meaning NSC, the White House, is not, White House, is not is not going to start confirming. For the first time. I, I get it. We are not going to start commenting on one-off anonymous sources uh, uh, that publications publish. If it were wrong, would you tell us? I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna get into it. You've accused the people in this room several times of being more interested in process 
uh, than actually in the substance of things. But when information is discovered by the Intelligence Committee Chairman in the House at the White House that is potentially exculpatory to what the President has tweeted out, and it's reported that one of the people who was involved in uncovering that information is a White House staff member who was kept in his position over the request of the National Security Advisor by the political leadership here at the White House, does the process not then take on some relevance? Well, the process in the sense that we are, as I've noted, we've invited the chairman and the ranking members who are looking into this and reviewing the matter up here. That doesn't mean that we allow uncleared members from the media to come in and look at it. Uh, that no, means, that no, you are, you said, but, but no, I think it is, because that question. that's not what I asked. What I asked was, when you have that connection of dots all the way along, right. does the process does the providence of this information not become relevant to the overall investigation? It's up for the, the people who are conducting the review to decide that, not, not for the people in this room to decide. It is up to the people who are clear to look at that information uh, and that material to look at it and make their evaluations. And I think they are conducting the review. You've seen very clearly both on the House side and then starting today on the Senate side, them looking into this matter. That is the appropriate venue, forum, and personnel to be reviewing it, plain and simple.